Well, the country's second biggest wireless provider is buying the country's biggest satellite TV provider. AT&T is one step closer to becoming the largest television distributor in the country. Never thought I would say that in the same sentence, but yes, it has happened. With this merger, the DirecTV AT&T merger set to be approved by the FCC in the next few days, I want to bring in Larry Fischelson. He is the CEO of Dynalink Communications. You know, I think we all want to know, is this going to be good or bad for me, for the consumer? Is my prices going to go up? Is the quality going to go down? Can AT&T's network handle all of this? I, yeah, they can't handle it. I think it's going to be great for the consumer. This is what we've been waiting for out there. It's called the quadruple play. You're going to get the phone, internet, TV, every mobile, everything together in, in one thing. Now, the big thing is it's about content. So this was really the first big content deal that went down. Now, I knew this deal was going to go down because there was no breakup fee in there, and there's really no antitrust right now. Eventually, down the line, with all these content deals, you never know. So this breaks the ground for a T-Mobile dish deal, which could happen. You have Verizon just did a big content deal with AOL. So this is about the telecom providers owning Wait, so the content saying, so that they on, deliver. So you're saying that there's going to be more, there's going to be more consolidation. There's going to be a lot be more bad consolidation. That's for consumers. That's going to do nothing but no, drive up prices, no. I, I, would, I would think. And I, I can't imagine regulators approving another merger. I, I think they're absolutely going to approve other mergers because there's really not competition yet in the content space. So what's going to happen is, the telecom providers make all the money. I'm in the telecom business on the broadband, so they could get down lower on the content where a pure content company can't do that. The lower margins, like a Netflix and Hulu, and it's gonna be interesting to see what happens to them. They're gonna try and stomp them out. Yeah, if I was down AT &T the line. And yeah. Direct TV, I, I mean, especially if I was the Direct TV section yeah. of this deal, I'd be all about trying to destroy Netflix right now. Well, That's so, exactly what they're gonna yeah, do. Yeah, so, so, so there's gonna be big wars out there for content. Big wars out there is great for the consumer because prices are going to continue to go down. And the telecom companies are able to offer less money because they're making the money on the broadband. That's where the big margins are. It's almost a loss leader to take some of that, those contents to add on to the network. Now, another big piece of this deal that people don't realize is the reason why they did this deal also is they need to build out more spectrum, 18 They need a lot more fiber. I mean, I'm sorry, but if you, th if you look at everybody walking around with their phones all over, this, all over the world right yeah. now, I want faster data, I want better data, I want it clean. Well, it's more They've got to deliver that. It's more spectrum. And the reason why they did this deal is the cash flow with DirecTV helps fund the, the building out of the spectrum auctions that they just bought more spectrum. Right. So this is a huge deal for the entire industry, not just for AT&T. I think it's going to be great for the consumer. And being in the telecom business, I'm in the mobile business. I do, I resell the AT&T network on the wholesale level. Right. I'm loving this because I'm going to be able to, hopefully down the line, offer this as well. The content right. is going so. the way of telecom. It's about transport and but delivering. We you know, we gotta go, but we, we're not going to be able to call it telecom anymore. It's not, it's not phone and TV. It's, we've got to come up with a whole new word. I don't know what it is yet. I'm, work, I'm working. There you go. <laughs> okay, no, we're going to come up with something sexier than that. We'll work on that for we'll the work segment. Out. All right, Larry Fischelson, Dynalink Communications. Thank you. Thank you, sir.